Good morning children. Yesterday we have learned about proteins, fats and vitamins. Today we are going to continue with the chapter and today we are going to learn about minerals, roughage and water. Let's begin with the chapter. Minerals are nutrients required by our body for its proper functioning, normal growth and good health. Minerals do not supply energy to our body and minerals are of two types, macro minerals and trace minerals. So minerals are important for our body and deficiency of mineral causes various disease. The most three important minerals that we are going to learn today is first is iron. It is present in green leafy vegetables and it is important for the formation of hemoglobin in the red blood cells. Second calcium. It is found in milk, cheese, eggs and it is essential for the bones and teeth. Third, iodine. It is found in iodized salt, seafood and green leafy vegetables and it is essential for the formation of thyroxine hormone. Next topic that we are going to learn today is roughage which is also known as dietary fibers. The fibrous indigestible material present in our food is called roughage. Roughage neither provides energy like carbohydrates and fats nor builds our body like proteins. However, it is an important component of our food. Roughage helps us in the following ways. First, roughage adds bulks to the food. It helps our body to get rid of undigested food and thereby prevents constipation. Roughage can absorb a great amount of water and helps retain water in the body. The main sources of roughage in the human Food are salad, vegetables and fruits, corn, unpeeled apple, half crushed wheat, etc. So what we have learned about roughage is that roughage is the indigestible material present in our food. For example, all the salads like cucumber, uh, then your carrot, radish, all this consists of our roughage. And these are important because it prevents constipation and it helps in retaining water in our body. Next, we are going to learn about the water. Water is the most important constituent of food. It is essential for life. Human body contains about 70% of the water by weight. Water is needed by our body to perform many vital functions. Some of them are. Now, why is water important for us? Water, uh, our 70% of the body weight is water only the important functions of water are first it transports substances and nutrients inside our body whatever we eat is being transported by the water it regulates the temperature of our body by sweating if we are playing in the sun and our body becomes too hot then we sweat so what happens when we sweat it, our body becomes cool it helps our body absorb nutrients from the food we eat then what water acts as an important medium where most chemical reactions occurring in the body takes place. Our body needs about 2 to 3 liters of water every day. Most of the water needed by our body comes from drinking water and beverages like tea and coffee. We also get water from the most food items we eat. For example, fruits, vegetables, meat and fish provide some quantity of water to our body. Thus, it is being said that it is very important to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. 